Um, anyway, this is called Electra in the Offices, and this is Electra from the comics, not from the terrible movie with Ben Affleck wearing red spandex. Electra in the Offices. Barefoot and ripe with new embarrassment, Electra walks up three floors, trying not to sweat. Constriction in her thighs, those red bands drawn tight, and everyone who waited without knowing her was blind, would receive her in a spotless blackness reserved for those who have forgotten. Seeing means we learn to feel in blindness, too. You ought to have gone with her years ago. That was, it, that was when it was easier to feel through things by pulling those last strands of someone's hair and wrapping up your fingers with them like a tourniquet. Electra cuts her hair in bathrooms where her shape is strange, where the windows stay shut even on the hottest nights, nail scissors in half-drunk bathrooms where she doesn't live. While shots go off outside, the scissors scrape and pull. She climbs the stairs, climbs so many times before. She has no one on her side. She has handwriting and flowers gathered in a backyard where her scalp burned pink, where the afternoon fed anorexic evenings and the day's fluorescence never dimmed. Unsure, unripe, unready, still the pounding rocks her steps as innocence file past her. One hand, one knife, one brother burning somewhere in the city. The man is upstairs working or failing at his work and practicing his oaths. But nothing stops the inevitable click of the door that yields to business. <clears throat> so that guy's dead. And then we move on. 